Hey guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I'm going to show you one of my insect boxes. This is my second insect box. The first one is actually under it down there. But I'll show you some of my insects that I have. And this is a collection that I've been building ever since I was 11. Some of these insects you may never see any other, and then others you may see all the time. And I'll show you some of the moths and butterflies. They are my favorite, the Lepidoptera. And I have many other boxes, these ones here, that have insects in them as well that sometime I'll have to show you guys. Like a rare one is right here, and it's kind of crooked. There we go. It's called a Titan Sphinx Moth, and it's rare for here in Kansas. Normally they're just in Missouri and then some other states, and this one's crooked too. I took them recently to a nature center and I had to drive them over there so the box. Some of the bugs kind of tilt around. So I'll show you some of my favorite ones, like this one here. There we go. It's focused. And then there's also this one that's cool. And then there's this one, a splendid dung, de dung beetle. And then I really like this one, and it's called a Regal Fritillary. And it looks like this on the underside. It's really cool. It's very um, shimmery, I guess you would say. And then I'll show you another one. This one here is cool because it's yellowish on the bottom. And it, let's see, this one is a Pandorus Sphinx. Then, of course, I'll show you guys, oops, the, this one here, which is a morning cloak. Yes, that's right. And it looks a lot like tree bark. Oh, if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. And then it's real pretty, especially when it's outside, it's a lot more attractive there's kind of some purples and some yellows and stuff. If I can get this back in here. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to pause and fix it. Okay. We're back. <laughs> it's not perfect, but at least I got it back into the foam. And then one I really like is this polyphemus moth. And this one here is a female. I actually have one bigger than this. It's the male. And I would pick it up and show you the bottom, the underwings, because they're really cool. Um, or the underside, I should say. But, um... I don't want to have the same problem of not being able to get back in there. So maybe another time. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking out my bugs. And I'll see you guys in the next video that I do with my other box.